to design a swimming pool like this. Now come to the elevation view to determine your ground floor height. I'll select the south elevation. Now if I look at it, the ground floor is at height 0. I want to show you something. If you look at the building from the elevation, you find out that the swimming pool has a depth. Okay, so what we'll do is this. let's go back to the floor plan. I'll show you how to do it. But before that, let's I'm going to delete the swimming pool and start it all over again. So if you look at it, you see that uh, if you look at the elevation, you see that the swimming pool has a depth. So I'm going to delete it from this side. Then I'll also go to 3D to check and delete every, the remnant of it. This is it in 3D. I'll delete everything. Now I'll go back to the plan view, that's the ground floor, to start it all over again. So this is the position where I'm going to start it. Now I'll go to my architecture, select the wall. I'll just, a quick one. I'll pick the rectangle over there, then draw it over. And the next thing I'll do is I'll go to architecture, select floor. Now select this rectangle. I just draw it like this. You can, however, draw any shape you want, but it, this is just for class. If I like, I can change the shape of this side. For instance, I'm going to erase this and select this arc, treat this point to this point. If I'm done, I'm going to click OK. Now let's check it in 3D. Now you see it having a height that is not desired. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll go to elevation. Let's go to south elevation again. I'll select everything. I think it's not protruding downwards. Now I'll come to base offset. They give it change the base offset to minus 2000 so it will extrude below I think that's okay then the height offset now it is connected to ground level I think I'll have to disconnect it now let it be unconnected to the height of uh, say 2000 also good let's check it in 3d now you can see it now another thing we need to know is that this uh, floor is showing here so we have to eliminate this floor how do we do it we have to uh, minus it from the pool area now I'll select this floor, cleverly select it, then select edit. Now for you to be able to edit it, you have to be on the ground level where you can see, sorry I'm on the ceiling wrong, ground level where you can see the swimming pool. It's still in editing mode. Now I'll select whatever shape, I can select peak lines. So I just select all this. Now if I'm okay with it, now I'll just I'll set I'll move it back a little so that it doesn't appear at all in my drawing in my swimming pool. So that it doesn't uh transparent into it. I'll say no. Now let's check it now in 3D. You can see that our pool is open. Now it's time to do the floor for our swimming pool. So I'll go back to ground level, go to floor, I'll draw it over the wall, 
sorry that's inside I'll say OK now why it is still selected you see the height offset change the height offset to minus sorry minus 2000 so that it will go down below now check it in 3d now the next thing is for us to draw another one but before we draw another one that will form as our water we need to color this 